hello children hope you are all fine and uh, healthy taking care of your health not going outside staying safe inside your house and also preparing for your exams i think most of you must be having your exams online exams and you must be preparing for that also okay so in my last video uh, we had done this uh, theorem a a a isn't it so now we will do uh, in this video we will have first s s s similarity criterion and we will have s a s we have will do two theorems today okay theorem 6.4 of your book and theorem 6.5 so now let me read the theorem it says that if in two triangles sides of one triangle are proportional to the sides of the other triangle then their corresponding angles are equal and hence the two triangles are similar for example we have two triangles a b and c okay we have two triangles abc and def i have drawn it see i have drawn two triangles abc and def the theorem says that if the mm, if their sides are proportional if sides are proportional then their corresponding angles will be equal and if the corresponding angles are equal then you know as per the aa criterion that these two triangles will be similar okay so now let us start doing this one first from the theorem what do you understand first you will write let us write given what is given first hmm? given we have two triangles we have two triangles a b c and d e f these are the two triangles such that such that a b c a b by d p or you will write d e d forget about d p sorry you will have a b by d e is equal to bc by ef bc by ef is equal to ac by df ac by df this is these are the things which are given sides of one triangle are proportional to the sides of the other triangle this is the thing which is given now what do you have to prove it is said that if this is the case then you have to prove that triangle abc is similar to triangle def this is our two proof fine no problem now let us go to the construction you must be finding see i have drawn a dotted line over here so let us find out why this dotted line i have drawn over here that is the construction part so what is the construction construction is let pq be the points um let i'm writing like this p and q are points such that such that uh, de uh, uh, such that dp is equal to ab and dq is equal to ac then join pq okay sorry my ink uh, ink is finished so i am going for a different pen okay so you will have join pq okay now let us do the proof now okay so in the proof we have 
proof part this is the proof in proof we have now ap it is already given see here ab by de is equal to ac by tf i am writing now we have ab by de is equal to ac by if ap by de is equal to ac by df then i can write dp by de this implies that dp by de is equal to dq by df why why because dp is equal to ap and dq is equal to ac we have already done the construction so reason you have to write hmm? reason is ab is equal to dp and ac is equal to dq okay fine if this is the case then i can write if you write that dp by de is equal to dq by df then i can very well say that pq is parallel to ef okay so it is evident if dp dp by de is equal to dq by df then i can say pq is parallel to ef why what is the theorem behind it it is the converse of thales theorem converse of i am writing bpt okay it is the converse of bpt now if that is the case then i can write angle dpq is equal to angle e and angle dqp is equal to angle f okay so angle dpq is equal to angle e and dqp is equal to angle f okay so uh, in two triangles now we were considering we have got this from this so now in triangle i can say so in triangle dpq I have written P here. D, P, Q and triangle D, E, F. We can write, what, what can we say? We can say that angle D, P, Q is equal to angle E and angle D, Q, P is equal to angle F. It's the same thing which I had written over here. Okay, so this is the case. Same thing. I'm and now I am putting it in two different triangles. That means triangle DPQ and DEF. So I can take these two triangles and I can say that this is equal to this. So by AA criterion, see these two angles are equal. Now, if these two triangles are equal, then as per the previous theorem, as per the AA criterion, therefore by A a criteria of similarity of similarity we can write what we can have triangle d p q is similar to triangle d e f okay so these are the two cases that you have got right now fine so if this is similar then what can you infer we can say dp by de is equal to pq by ef i can write like that which implies again that see dp is equal to ab we already know so ab by de is equal to pq by EFC just changed in place of DP I have put AB okay but what do you know we know that but AB by 
DE is equal to BC by EF. Why do you have this? This is from given. Okay. AB by DE is equal to BC by EF. This is from given. If this is the case, so I can write, see, AB by DE is equal to uh, BC by EF. Or I can say PQ. Why I will write PQ over here? Because BC by EF, you know. Hmm? So PQ by EF is equal to BC by EF. You all know. Isn't it? When you have joined PQ, then PQ is equal to, your BC is equal to PQ because those triangles are similar. So if it is similar, so in place of uh, BC, I can write BC by EF is equal to PQ by EF. I can write like this. If this is the case, then from here, I can say PQ is equal to BC. Okay. If PQ is equal to BC, therefore, this triangles ABC and DPQ, what do we have? We will have that. We have DV AB is equal to DP. AC is equal to DQ. And BC is equal to PQ. Okay. So, in triangles ABC and DPQ, we have AB is equal to DP, AC is equal to DQ, and BC is equal to PQ. If these sides are equal, then, therefore, by SSS criteria of congruency, see, here it is equal, all are equal. So it is SSS criteria for congruency. We have triangle ABC is congruent to triangle D, D, P, Q. It is congruent to triangle D, P, Q. Okay. So if again that is the case, now you know that dpq but we know that triangle uh, dpq was similar to triangle def okay so see this three. but dpq is similar to def now abc is congruent to dpq so therefore Triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle D, E, F. From equation, from, I am naming this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. From equation 1 and 2. Okay, so from equation 1 and 2, triangle A, B, C is similar to DEF. It is now proved. Fine. So this finishes your SSS criteria of similarity. That is theorem 6.4. Okay. Now we go to theorem 6.5. Now we go to theorem 6.5. If one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other triangle, and the sides including these angles are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. Let me explain this once again. If one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other triangle, suppose this angle is equal to this angle and of the other triangle and the sides including these angles. What are the sides which include these angles? AB and AC. And what are the sides which include these angles? It is DP and DQ. If the sides including these angles are proportional, then triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Okay. So now let us try to solve it. So first we start by writing the given part. 
what is given okay given as usual you have to write that two triangles abc and def so two triangles a b c and uh, d e f are such that are such that angle a is equal to angle d this is the case and another one is ab by de angle a is equal to angle d sorry hmm? and uh, ab by de is equal to ac by df fine so these are the two sides which are proportional and a and d are the two angles that are equal okay so what do you have to prove now to prove same thing triangle a b c is similar to triangle d e f see in all the three theorems i have kept the name of the triangle same and i have done this like uh, i have taken p and q this is the construction part also i have done it same i have named it same so that there is no confusion okay now let us go to you all know first given then to prove and next is your construction part hmm? so what is the construction same thing so mark uh, this is uh, mark uh, P and Q on D E and D F such that uh, A B is equal to D P and A C is equal to D Q and then join P Q. Fine. Same thing for all the three, theorem, three theorems, the construction part is same. Now let us go to proof. So here the proof is little bit easy and a little bit even shorter than the previous two. So let me go ahead with this. Proof. Now let us take the two triangles. In triangle ABC and I am considering triangle D. P Q. Okay, I am considering triangle D P Q. In these two triangles, you know that A B is equal to D P Y construction part, and angle A is equal to angle D. This is given, and A C is equal to D Q. This is also construction. If this is the case, therefore. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DPQ by SAS criteria. Okay, criteria of congruency. See, I have used the congruency sign. Okay, so these two triangles are congruent. Now you know that AP by DE, AP by DE is equal to ac by df how because this was given okay it was given now what do you infer from this how can you use it so in place of ab same thing you put dp hmm? so dp by de so dp by de is equal to in place of ac i can put dq so you have dq by df okay so if this is the case this tells us that your pq is parallel to ef okay now why this is converse of bpt because of the converse of BPT. Then, 
What do you infer from this? I can say the previous one same. DPQ is equal to angle E and angle DQP is equal to angle F. Why? Corresponding angles. Okay? Because they are parallel. These are the corresponding angles. So, you can say that a thus in triangle DPQ. Therefore, in triangle DPQ and triangle DEF, we can say that angle is same like the previous one. D P Q is equal to angle E and angle same thing. I am writing huh? D Q P is equal to angle F. Now we have confined it to these two triangles. If this is the case, then by A A A criteria. Hmm? If this is the case, then according to therefore according to A A A criteria. Therefore, our writing I am so, huh? Uh, for, as per A, A, A criteria or double A, huh? Criteria, I can say that, what can you say? That these two triangles are similar. Which two triangles? Triangle D, P, Q. You see why I am writing the P first. Triangle DPQ is similar to triangle DEF. Okay, so these two triangles are similar. Now you already know that triangle, but you have already proved that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DPQ. Okay. I am naming this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. See, DPQ is similar to DEF but ABC is congruent to DPQ. So, what can I write? Therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Yes or no? See, DPQ is similar to DEF but ABC is congruent to DPQ. So, I can say ABC is similar to Proof. Fine. So, this is your theorem number 6.5. And what is this criteria known as? It is your SAS criteria. Okay. So, with this, we finish both the theorems. Now, in the next video, we will do the exercise. So, till then, please. Uh, this uh, similar triangles, it, it uh, needs a little bit of uh, understanding because you may get confused with uh, um, your congruency. Hmm? Congruency is something different. So due to which I have shown some cutouts and uh, it will be very clear that there is, a little, there is a big difference between similarity and congruence. It is not the same thing. Okay, never ever mistake it. Like uh, if uh, A, A, A uh, criteria is there, then both the triangles will be congruent. If A, 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 if A, A, if the two angles or three angles are equal, that will never mean that both the triangles are congruent. They can be similar. Okay, this is what we have studied. They will have different size. The angles may be same. But the size may be different, size of the triangles may be different. Okay, so similarity and congruency are a little bit different. You have a thin line, you have to cross that line in order to understand what is the difference between similarity and congruence. Once that concept is clear, then it is very easy to solve this exercise this is a part of similarity triangles okay so with this i say bye today and meet you all in my next video till then stay safe